If you've ever wondered which traffic sources are driving more revenue, how users are actually engaging with your content, which of your marketing campaigns are really paying off, and what hidden issues might be holding your website back, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. Our first tip is about setting up key events in Google Analytics. Now, key events are the actions that you want visitors to take on your site, like making a purchase or submitting a form. And when you set up key events, you can easily see how well your marketing efforts are working and where you can make things even better. So here's how to create a key event in Google Analytics 4. First, you'll need to log into your Analytics account and then go to Admin in the lower left corner of the screen and then head over to Data Display. Now just click Key Events. Okay, once the screen loads, just look over on the right-hand side and you'll see Mark as a Key Event. Now just click there to set it as a key event and it will start tracking it as a conversion. Now if you're a WordPress user and you're not seeing an event there that you really wish was set up, like an e-commerce purchase or form submission, then check out our guide on GA4 conversion tracking for WordPress. I'll leave a link in the description. Now here's tip number two. It's important to keep an eye on your engagement metrics. Google Analytics 4 is all about engagement, so it's got a bunch of metrics to show you how visitors are interacting with your site. So to find your engagement metrics in Google Analytics, just head over to Reports, and then go to Engagement, and then to Landing Page. Now just scroll down and you'll see the average engagement time per session. If you're using Monster Insights, then you can see some of your engagement metrics anytime right on your WordPress dashboard, including the landing page details report. Now, if you'd like to know more about how to improve your engagement metrics, then check out our guide on eight proven ways to increase user engagement on your website. And the link is in the description. All right, here we are at our third tip, adding secondary dimensions in Google Analytics. Secondary dimensions allow you to break down your data even further so you can see a bit deeper. Now, you can add a secondary dimension to any of the report tables in Google Analytics. So, for example, let's say if you wanted to add landing pages to your organic traffic reports, all you have to do is just head to Reports, and then to Acquisition, and then head to Traffic Acquisition. Now, click the blue plus button. Okay, now you'll see a drop-down, so select Page Screens. Then choose Landing Page query string. And now finally, you'll need to type organic into the search bar. Okay, cool, right? Now you can experiment a bit with secondary dimensions too, so you can try switching things up by selecting different things from the drop-down. So you could change landing page and query string, or you could keep an eye on the device category by switching out as well. Or you could even take a look at where visitors are coming from by going to Geography and then clicking on Country to see the countries. All right, here we are at tip number four. Try using Explore Reports. The Explore section in GA4 allows you to create custom reports. So you can make custom reports so you can see anything that you wish that you could see on your main reports, but it just can't seem to find it. So here's how you can create an exploration report in GA4. Now, for this example, I'm going to create a social media traffic report so you can get an idea of how it works. Now, of course, if you're using Monster Insights, well, you can see all this right on your WordPress dashboard without having to go through all of this. So to create an exploration report in Google Analytics, just head to Explore. And now on the next screen, click on Blank. Next, on the left side of the screen over here, click Dimensions. And then you'll need to import the following dimensions. So just head over to the top of the screen right here and type in Session Source and then click the box. Now we'll do the same thing for Session Default Channel Grouping. And finally for Landing Page Query String. All right, once you're done, just click Import. Okay, now let's go back to the left side over here again and click on Metrics. And now we'll go back to the top and type in and select the following metrics as well. So type in Sessions, Engage Sessions, User Engagement, 
engagement rate, key events, and finally purchases. Or if you're running an e-commerce site, use transactions instead. And again, once you're done, click Import. Okay, now let's go back to the left side again and click on Rows. Now click the plus sign and select Session Source. Now go down to Metrics and click the plus sign and click Sessions and then Engage Sessions and user engagement, and key events, and finally, purchases. Okay, now you'll need to scroll down a bit further and then click the plus sign in the filters box. Now click Session Default Channel Group. Then under Conditions, where it says Select Match Type, click the drop-down and click Exactly Matches. And finally, under the Enter Expression, scroll down to Organic Social, and then click Apply. Now you should have a social media channels report that looks something like this. Now let's say you want to view your social traffic by landing page instead of social network. Then all you have to do is just swap out Session Source for Landing Page Query String in that rose box. Now, if you'd like a full tutorial on how to build Explore Reports, then check out our guide on how to create Google Analytics for custom reports step-by-step. -step. All right, here we are at our fifth tip, and that's modifying your reports and dashboards. So in Google Analytics, the main dashboards are going to give you a snapshot of important stuff, but you can change them up to match what's really important for your business. So here's how you can customize dashboards in GA4. Let's go up here to the upper right-hand corner under the Custom Report column and click the pencil icon. Now you can easily rearrange how your reports are looking by clicking these little dots here on the left-hand side of each one, and then you can just drag and drop them where you want them. But you can also add more cards to your report by going down here at the bottom and clicking right here. Now you can see additional cards that you can add to your reports. So all you have to do is just find the one that you'd like to add to your report, and then place a check in the box and click Add. And now you'll be able to see that added to your report. And like I said a moment ago, you can move it around wherever you want in your report. Then once you're satisfied, just click Save. And you have the option to save it as a new report or just save changes to the current report. All right, here we are at our last tip, number six, using campaign tracking. Now, campaigns are an awesome way to track some extra information about your traffic and group traffic together in ways that really make sense. For instance, imagine you're having a summer sale or working with influencers on social media and through email. Now, if you use the same campaign name for your social posts and your emails, well, you can see how your whole campaign did as a whole all in one spot. All you have to do is just go to Reports, and then to Acquisition, and then to Traffic Acquisition. Now under the search box, change your primary to Session Campaign, and then click the blue plus sign and click Traffic Source, and then click Session Source Medium, and then scroll down and you'll be able to see your report. Now to use campaigns, all you have to do is just add UTM parameters to your links. Now, if you're a Monster Insights user, well, you'll find campaigns reports right inside your WordPress dashboard. If you'd like to know more about how to set up and track campaigns, then check out our guide on how to set up marketing campaign tracking in Google Analytics. So now you can use these tips to help you better understand how people are interacting with your website, improve your marketing efforts, and grow your business. Now, if you found this breakdown of the essential Google Analytics tips for businesses and marketers helpful, and go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe for more tips like this. Up next, you'll definitely want to check out this video where I show you the 11 most important Google Analytics metrics to track.